many people paused today to reflect on the Blue Mountains bushfires. One year ago, hundreds were left homeless, with 200 houses destroyed. Remarkably, there was no loss of life. And today, a community celebrated resilience and looked forward to the future. A year ago, the primary school children at St Thomas Aquinas walked two and a half kilometres to safety with minutes to spare. Today, they held on to what was dear to them on their way to a ceremony of thanksgiving. I've got my special stuffed toy. Why is your teddy bear special today? Because we're representing new life. And we will shine together all, for all the world to see. The school's principal lost his home while he was evacuating 550 children. Today he was honoured by Pope Francis for his courage. I had a strong sense that um, we didn't have enough, a lot of time um, before it would be at the school. 19-year-old Carly Dale came to remember. In the middle of her HSC, she sheltered an elderly neighbour as everything around her house burned. There was a bit, a bit of time there where I thought that there was no way out. And, you know, there was a, a very high possibility that I would, you know, die out there. The Blue Mountains community have you all in our hearts and in our minds today. This time last year, more than 900 Wimmerley High School students were locked in classrooms and the school hall. 46 of them lost their homes. We're just rummaging around in the rubble and I found this in the rubble, so I've kept it as a memento or of sorts. We lost everything in the house. We lost a pet called Charlotte, who was pretty special. Just how much worse it could have been isn't lost on anyone. We often reflect on the fact that what if it was half an hour later? Because uh, we would have released all of our kids, 940 of them, into the community. But today, it was time to have fun. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.